Hey Jennifer, it's Colin. I just downloaded your site just so I could take a look and help you out here. Now, there's two things I'm going to suggest right off the bat. Uh, one is I'm actually uh, I've actually created a uh, a smaller version of your image for you, just for mobile. Okay, you can do that. You can specify any image any image you want, obviously. But I just wanted to mention that when you're linking images into like for backgrounds, um, don't use spaces in the file names. Okay, so this one is going to be in the site. Uh, actually right in here right see your images here that uh, movers uh, in front of Wallace House stuff like that when you have spaces and file names not all web browsers can interpret those spaces and the picture may not show okay so that's sort of number one thing I just wanted to point out um, not, most browsers are picking up on that now but not all browsers will work um, when you have spaces in your file names so always put them together like when you uh, and you can use our uh, images as an example of how we've named things, right? You see how we have everything a little hyphen connecting the words or the numbers? Yeah, it's very important that you, you get rid of the spaces and replace it with a hyphen, an underscore, or just get rid of the space and have one big, you know, sentence smucked into one file name, which is hard to read. So uh, it's a lot better if you just uh, named your file something like, uh, like this here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to rtmmobile.jpg okay um, right I've also positioned the image from the left and the bottom because the focal point of the image really is probably the truck and the logo and then you get the house in the background right so if we just reposition the logo a little bit this gives you a much better idea of what it's going to look like on a mobile device okay now next thing I'm going to just tweak the navigation bar so it fills out it looks it's a little bit short um, and also I'm going to adjust this logo here for you and get that up there okay Right now I've readjusted the font size here back to probably its original, but 135 probably didn't need to be adjusted too much on this particular one here, but it looks really sharp now on the mobile device. It centers nicely, the tagline is below it, and the picture shows up nicely on both, uh, at least on my, my iPhone, which I'm looking at right now, shows up nicely on the uh, iPhone in both portrait and landscape, so uh, it'll look much more professional. Let's just take a look at this menu bar here, see if we can get that to go the full width. Oops, sorry, I just got back. I was just looking at something there for a sec. My bad. Yeah, the Mega Menus, uh, <clears throat> we can align that one to the left or to the right. It doesn't have the same properties as the uh, the other menu. So I'll just get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that. Put the margin to zero. Position relative. But there we go. Right, so let's we'll align that back up to the left there so it drops down nicely. Uh, what else? I noticed you had some ads. I was going to suggest what I can do is, for now anyways, um, I'm just going to re-enable the uh, current news, these fellas right here, um, and your info boxes. I'm just going to re-enable that, uh, throw it back up there for you. There. Now when scrolling down, at least they'll, they'll get the three boxes there. Okay. And then you can have some uh, the additional side boxes and then the content as well. And if you want, I'll just show you how to put that back in if you want to hide them. But by default, they get turned off on mobile. Um, but you can easily have them enabled, like I'm doing right here for you, just so it gives you an idea. It's actually going to look more like this, I think, something closer to that. Um, but at least that gives the additional uh, bit of information there that you, I thought might be important for your mobile site.